Hello, this is Minute Biology, and today we'll be learning about MRIs, or magnetic resonance imaging. First, let's start off by giving some background into MRIs. MRIs come in all shapes and sizes, and here's how it works. So in the machine, there is a massive magnet, and the magnet makes a large field, which you sit in. The magnet sends radio signals into your body at your naturally occurring hydrogen atoms, displacing them momentarily. And when these hydrogen atoms go back into their correct place, the radio signal tells the machine where the tissues are. The machine then sends the signals it is receiving to another machine that puts it into an actual picture of your body, finding damaged tissues. Some commercial impacts of MRIs is that it's very expensive to have an exam. And even though it's a great test and very effective, people who don't have insurance cannot afford it. So it just makes one more test that the lower class cannot have. But an industrial impact is that the MRI is a machine that can look through bone to efficiently find damaged tissue, and it doesn't have x-rays, so there's no risk of radiation. This affects the industry because now we have this technology, we can make others that are even better. Some pros and cons of the MRI is that there's no x-rays and it can be used, it's effective and it can see through bone, it's non-invasive and there's no allergic reactions to the machine. Now some cons are that when, when you're sedated it is possible to have over sedation and that's in any machine. There's a small risk of reaction to contrast material which they may put in your blood to see the imaging better, though the pros outweigh the cons. Some data is that only five companies make MRIs and so it rises, it makes the cost rise and the machine itself can cost